Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle. And this is this is a very lackluster and lame way to start a video. And the energy was down, so let's crank it up. These are two of the most underrated bodybuilders of all time. Phil Hill, are you kidding me? And Aaron Baker as well. He, of course, was a few years ahead. A few years ahead. Phil Hill was an 80s, early 90s athlete. And Aaron Baker, he competed all the way up into the early 2000s. And he was a force to be reckoned with in the mid-90s, guys. Smack dab in the middle of the, you know, when the hungry lions were at their most fierce in the 90s, guys. This is unbelievable. Actually, Aaron Baker, speaking of Aaron Baker, let's have another look at him. Just a closer little snap of a look here. And I'm sure if you are a quote-unquote bodybuilding nerd like myself, you're just jumping up and down right now, freaking out. You're suggesting that this is not Aaron Baker, but it is Victor Richards. Now, this is Victor Richards here, right? Mm-hmm. And all you, like I said, you uh, bodybuilding nerds, for lack of a better term, you guys know exactly what's going on. This is a picture that's been going around of Victor Richards for years now. But you know what, guys? Boom. As Super Set Man says, boom. It was Aaron Baker all along. That tremendous physique that we thought was Victor Richards, it was not. It was, it was Aaron Baker all along. Just so you know. Eh, information. Food for thought. Food for thought. Hey, I haven't said that in a while. Let's start this matchup, guys. This is a You Pick Tuesday after all. And how do you get your You Pick Tuesday played? Well, so there is always some confusion between this and Fan Request Friday. Fan Request Friday, you have to be first. You have to have the very first request for a comment, for a, uh, a request for a video. And You Pick Tuesday has to be the one with the most thumbs up. So you don't have to be so quick about it. But, I mean, hey, the, the faster you get it out there, the more people do see it. And so you got to be fast. Plus, it has to be a good request like this one. Got the most thumbs up. You guys wanted to see this one. Unfortunately, the picture quality, not the best. Camera angles tilted thusly in favor of the, the lower body for, uh, for Phil Hill and the upper body for Aaron Baker. <laughs> I believe that would be the way it would go anyway. I think Aaron Baker would uh, win in the arm department. As much as I uh, may admit there might be some a lot of sights in those biceps, sight enhancement oils, but... As far as the wheels are concerned, look at Phil Hill and the vacuum pose. Might even give him this one, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty even matchup. Go to the front lat spread. And this one, again, guys, you're going to have to take into consideration that Baker, his wheels aren't going to look as big. But I don't think they are. I don't think they are. I think Phil Hill has a tremendous set of wheels unbelievable guys but upper body upper body wise Aaron Baker he might have a better better lat spread hard to say is that Bill Grant behind uh Aaron Baker you see that guy the lighter skin fella now the other the other guy he looks depressed you see that guy I don't know who that is one guy looks like Bill Grant not Paul Grant Bill Grant they're not related Look at the pecs on this Phil Hill. I'm sorry, guys, I get off track. But anyway, look at the pecs, Phil Hill. I, I believe Aaron Baker has the superior shoulder width, clavicle width, but man, oh man. Turn to the side. Turn to the side. See, if I say it twice, I double my turn to the sides. And I just said it again. Drinking game with all my sayings. You guys know that. But it has to be water. It has to be water. Get that H2. Whoa, India. Here is the bicep difference. Phil Hill has a tremendously long set of biceps. And Aaron Baker has those pointy peaks. They look like they're full of sights. But hey, you never know, guys. If Arnold was around in the 90s, they would have said that he was full of sights as well. But, I mean, a lot of training. A lot of uh, genetics. Genetics. I think peck for peck. And we could see that from the front lat. I think Phil Hill might get an edge course at the end of the day pitcher quality 
you know, you got to go with what you have. And this is a photo shoot, so a little unfair. This is the, this is what we're using, I should say, for the side tricep pose. As close as a match this is, I mean, structurally speaking, these guys very similar, very similar. Both five foot eight, both stocky, full of muscle. Same type of tricep development, I would say. Mm, pecs are a little bigger for uh, for Phil Hill. Wheels look a little bit more conditioned as well. And when you look at the midsection, I think Phil Hill's going to be taking this one, guys. But that was just the two front shots and the two side shots. And unfortunately, go to the rear lat spread. This is all we have. And you can see Phil Hill. He looks like he... Never mind. He, he's doing a like a squat. Kai Green does this. Really shows the glutes off, you know? You know? But actually, any of the back shots, you see Phil Hill. He's either doing the splits or the squat maneuver. Maneuver. Looks like he has a more prominent lat insertions than Aaron Baker. But guess what, guys? This Aaron Baker, probably 2002, 2003, I think, maybe. And, you know, he was competing way back when, so he's not in his prime here. But that's the only rear lat spread I could find. And this is the only rear lat spread I could find of Phil Hill. I was going to scrap this pose altogether, but, yeah, Figured I would show you guys what I have, and it's really impossible to, uh, to make a judgment on it. Go to the rear double buy, and uh, I was going to scrap this one as well. He's doing the splits is uh, Phil Hill. There's a watermark on there. I apologize for uh, whoever I stole that from, but uh, it was reposted on another site. So I guess I guess you could blame that other site, not the one that originally put the watermark on. So anyway, guys, anyway. Rear double by. It looks like uh, Aaron Baker is in better condition here. His glutes, hamstrings. I mean, the guy is a beast. The guy is fantastic, condition-wise. Back for back, very close as well. Phil Hill, I think, has a uh, just a more streamlined back development. Looks more symmetrical. I don't know, though. It's pretty darn close, guys. This is a matchup and a half. Go to the abs and thigh. Very close again, guys. Look at the quad on both guys, on both guys. Aaron Baker, some feathering there. Phil Hill did have... Feathering in his quads in other pitchers. In other pitchers. But this was the best bet for the abs and thigh. I mean, it really showed off his ab development. And uh, I gotta say, ab for ab. Aaron Baker, he's good. But I don't know if he's as good as Phil Hill. Phil Hill, I'm surprised, guys. Might be a little bit leaner. Might be a little bit more conditioned than, uh, than Aaron Baker. But still... All the way around. I mean, front shots, back shots, condition-wise, muscularity, musculature. These guys are uh, right on the, the exact same playing field. Finish this dandy off. And I I say a lot of these matchups could go either way. But this one may take the cake. This one may take the cake. This is a photo shoot for each. So it's fair. It's a level playing field. Like I said earlier... Very similar, these guys. Aaron Baker with the superior upper body structure. He has the width, the clavicle width. But then again, then again, Phil Hill battles back with the superior set of pecs. And at the end of the day, he has a better abs as well. Not to mention, not to mention Phil Hill. He's got better wheels. And a little bit better conditioning, in my opinion, that is. So at the end of the day... Aaron Baker, he is very underrated, very underrated, and he's good, but Phil Hill is gooder, he's better, he's winning, he's impressive, keep in mind, he was around before Aaron Baker as well, so he may be one of the most underrated bodybuilders of all time, of all time. Hit thumbs up on the very the very first You Pick Tuesday comparison. Like I said, get your request in. Make sure it's a good one. And hit thumbs up on it yourself, you know. Get your friends to hit thumbs up on it. Make it the most 
thumbs up most recognizable comment on there and make it a good one like this one this was a, a an awesome comparison so kudos to you guys for keeping those good matchups coming it's you guys that make this channel after all i love you hit thumbs up on the video <laughs> Have a great day, guys.